What's up? Yo, yo, yo. Good morning, everybody. We finally made it to Shipley's Donuts. Yes, sir. And we got our snacks. Well, our breakfast, that's, I guess we can say that. We call it breakfast. Yo, people get so damn excited with these donuts, man. I'm talking shit. Ooh. It makes everybody's morning when somebody comes walking in and work with the box but of these motherfuckers. first, since this pandemic and all this shit going on around here, we're going to sanitize our hands before we even dig in. We want to clean our hands first. Right before on. we dig into our food, you know. And uh, So we got this here. This is actually made from Jessica Alba. You know, I love it because it doesn't make your hands sticky. It dries very quick. Right on, right on. So you get a few sprays here, a few sprays from my boy here. Right. Wrap that shit around. Just like mouthwash, swish it around a little bit. There you go. All right, all right. What's crazy about Houston is that uh, the stay at home has been extended to June 10th, but yet they want to open everything back up. So, a little confusing, but it is what it is. For yourself, you want to do your part by wearing a mask as much as you possibly can. Keep washing it's those hands. It. That's right. Please. We can't stress that anymore. So what you got there, Abdul? Man, I have what we call one of the best things to have about here. This is a glazed donut. Now these glazed donuts right here make people go crazy. I mean, I can't even explain. Real like <laughs> When you have a board meeting, when you... When these bad boys pop up, I mean, people are like roaches. It's not popping out everywhere. You and know just to let y'all know, uh, me and Abdul, we work together. Right. We work right. at the same company. Uh, every morning, it's usually him and me coming in first, you know. Uh, so, yeah, we work in the oil industry. Shit's con the economy's gone down. Oil's gone down. Gas prices has gone down. But uh, we, we made it back to work and just trying to survive oh yeah through this pandemic and stuff and hopefully things will pick back up in our you know where we work at and but until then guys we're gonna enjoy some of these shipley's donuts yes, sir. all right he's gonna start with the sweet i'm, I'm gonna, gonna start with my kolache this here is called a kolache it's nice and fluffy i'm gonna cheat the baby. game oh yeah i'm gonna cheat the game a little bit i'm gonna start with my sweets first you know and the kid they tell us don't do that but we grown now we do whatever we want Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, this woman don't give me the wrong one. I asked for a ham and cheese. Man, it happens from time to time because... That's all right. This is all good, too, though. This is sausage and well, cheese. I lost my mask on that one. But that happens from time to time. So sometimes you go to Shipley's. You know, some, some of the ladies is there. You know, they don't speak very much English. Or they're sweet, though. They're sweethearts. Yeah. But, you know, it's, you get a mix up here and there. It, it, it help. When you live in this part of Texas, it helps to speak Spanish. That's all I'm going to say. But... And shit, that, that is ham and cheese. They just rolled the shit up. <laughs> All right, What's right on. Up? So my <laughs> man got what he different. he got what he ordered. If y'all were here right now, what does eating this? Words can't even explain <laughs> how good this shit is. I mean, words. I mean, damn it, we grew up off this shit. Oh yeah. I mean, going out to the clubs, hanging out. It's 24 hour open 24 you know hours. You, you 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 out there doing your thing you know you come back about two three in the morning what's open shipley's donuts and this is what you do you know you pull into the spot or walk up in there grab your couple of kolaches you know some donuts and stuff and and there you go you know but these are good man one of a kind i couldn't wait to get here i, I wake up early every day and get a workout on my protein, but I'm really hungry. So I was watching the clock, counting down the minutes to, to get, go get pick up that door and then come come get these damn donuts and kolaches. It's like Campbell's soup, man. It's mm, mm, good. I mean, <laughs> I can't say anymore. You know what? If you ever come to Houston or just Texas, man, make sure y'all get you some gotta, stop off that ship. You, you gotta you gotta stop. You just have to get these donuts and these kolaches. Now I'm, I'm done with my sweet. Now I'm gonna go to the ka kalachi, man. This 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 is it right here. This is it. You got the jalapeno one, huh? I got both. I got a jalapeno and I got a regular. Woo! Right, boy, it's kind of hungry this morning. Just gonna get it in. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That's can y'all see that? I don't know if you can see it real good. Look at that. That's good. 
The mm. glazed donut is the original donut. The original. This is what made Shipley so popular. That's so, the OG of donuts right there. Yeah. It's very light and fluffy. The light coating of glaze on top. Not too heavy. Man, it, it's fucking good. Excuse my language. Down. Damn. Look at that goodness. That golden goodness. That's what I'm talking about. It's golden goodness, man. It's really good with coffee. And because because I worked out, I kind of shortened up the coffee a little bit and got a small one. And it looks like they filled it up three quarters of the way. I'm sort of on on a on a diet right now, as far as like caffeine. So you won't see me drinking too much coffee in the videos, but. I'm more of a natural herbalist tea guy now, you know. True. But um, true. I'll be seeing you at work. <laughs> you know, I mean, sometimes I know these aren't the healthiest. Don't, don't, don't. I ain't gonna start lying in the round here no. saying these right here are, oh, they're gonna be healthy for you. No, I mean these have these are packed with calories. You know what I'm saying? But man, I mean, what's life if you can't have some guilty pleasures? This shit. I mean, this is good, man. It's extremely good. Mm hmm And work. We're in decent shape, so we can indulge in shit like this every once in a while, you know? Oh, yeah. It's been a long time since so it has shipped it, man. Oh, yeah. Last time I had it is whenever somebody brought the box of donuts to work. And I ain't gonna lie, I ate about four of the motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the places when I first came to Texas where I started just, you know, getting my breakfast from. You know, I started working, you know, at these little jobs or whatever, and, you know, you get up early and you want to look for somewhere to get something to eat from. And, you know... That's one of the places, Shipley side. You know, I can't even stun on them, I can't quick. lie. I'm gonna step out real quick and dust those fucking glaze. Let's glaze off my damn shirt. Now, these, these donuts are messy now, you know, I'm gonna get it twisted. It ain't gonna be no no clean type of, you know, ordeal when you're eating these donuts. But, man, are they delicious. They're good. Man, we just got a bag of goodies. I mean, dude, I got I, the bags will keep on coming out with me. Now, since I'm in holiday spirit, <laughs> but today being a holiday and everything, yeah, yeah. I want to go ahead and uh, hit you guys with a with a little red, white, and blue donut right Already. there. There it is, right there. Yeah, yeah. It's a little jacked up though. Damn, yeah, it's a little messed up. You know, I got icing all on my hands and shit. It'd be nice but, if they would have carried on a little bit. <laughs> I told us, the viewers. I told a separate bag because I wanted this one just for the viewers to see. Yeah. But yeah, man, we're in holiday spirit. It was the American flag. Was well, the American flag. It kind of looks like a Puerto Rican flag now, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's all good, though. Then I got a raspberry filled donut. Got to have one of these. Happy holidays. Yeah. Happy Cheers. Holidays. They ain't too shy with the feeling. That's why I like getting these. And I love fruit, you know. And surprisingly, the icing on here is not overly sweet. Cause sometimes you get those color, those color, what is what do you call this crap? Glaze or whatever. And Coloring or something. Yeah, sometimes it has a bitter taste to it, or either it's overly sweet. This right here is a mild, so you know it's, it's not taken away from the donut at all. It's, so it's pretty much on point. It's on point, man. I'm telling you, Shipley's is doing their thing. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you the truth though. I, I love Shipley's more than Krispy Kreme. I think Krispy Kreme is too sweet. Dunkin' Donuts, they're all right. They're all right. But when you go to Dunkin' Donuts, you want to get non-donut items like the sandwiches, <laughs> sandwiches and stuff like that. But right. You come here, man. Shit, you'll, you'll be straight here. They got kolaches, they got croissants, ham and cheese croissants. They got they got all, a lot of shit. Oh yeah, but they are known for the glazed donuts. So, mm, damn. I mean, after you eat this, you're kind of like a fat kid, man. You're like, <laughs> oh, I don't want to do nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, when they have these bad boys at board meetings, they mess up every time because we don't want to do no work. <laughs> we want to go home. <laughs> I mean, this is a wrap. Once you eat this right here. I mean, you know, you just feel so good. You just want to go crawl back into your bed and go to sleep, man. I mean, yes, sir. this is good comfort. This is Texas comfort food. I don't care what part of H-Town you're from. You know what a Shipley's Donut look like, and you had some of Shipley's Donut. But it donut. ain't just H-Town. It's all throughout Texas. That's right. We're our own country over here. <laughs> 
Really, we don't give a shit about other states. I mean, we do, but we we like to handle ourselves as individual. That's you know, right. like really, we we don't consider ourselves connected to the United States. I mean, it's different. Like you I know? said, I'm not from out here originally, but I've been out here for almost 20 plus years. So Texas, I mean, it's totally different. And big shout out to my people up in Pennsylvania, Baltimore, Maryland. You know, big shout out to my people on the East Coast and all that. You know, when y'all get a chance, come check check come check us out in Houston. That's all I gotta say. It's wonderful down here. You wanna tell them about your channel, your other channel? Well, since he mentioned it, your no. boy Abdul, I do comedy. I got a comedy. We got well, we have a comedy sketch channel. It's called Too Funny Production or Too Funny Company. Just type that in, Too Funny Company. And we got all types of skits and stuff, you know. But I'm here with my main man right here. You know, we work together and shit, you know, as we mentioned, you know. And this is uh, a little something we wanted to, you know, show you guys, you know, show you guys around Houston and, you know, show you some of the spots that we like to kick it at, you know. I think there'll be some future ones too that we're oh, yeah. gonna come up with. Houston's a big city. I think we're not the fourth largest city in the whole na nation. I think we're considered the third biggest city nowadays. So how you feeling? I'm feeling straight, man. I kind of like full, I got huh? some energy, kind of yeah. full, yeah, but I feel like going out and doing something. But right, right. Due to the fucked up weather we got going on in, in Houston right now, you can't really do shit unless you want to get rained on. That's right. We're, we're, we're about to have some storms rolling through here. So it's gonna make this holiday a little bit, um, you know, a more stay at home holiday because it's already stay at home anyway. So you guys should be staying at home, but you know, yeah, let's just make the best of this. Have fun already, yes, sir. So usually, me and Abdul, when we have some spare time, we'll meet up and have some breakfast or Shipley's, a cup of coffee, you know. And just talk about shit that's been happening, you know. Pandemic bullshit was been the main conversation lately. We think that agenda. wearing masks and stuff is gonna be the norm, you know. So there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Um, wouldn't you rather be alive and healthy than risk getting sick and dying? Let's be smart about this, people. You know, all you gotta do is put on the mask. You know, everybody, we got to do our part. We have to do our part. Knowing his background and him knowing my background, we ain't been sick. We ain't even got no symptoms, you know, so. We've been pretty we work strong. together, you know, <laughs> so. Believe me, if we were, we were showing symptoms, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. We wouldn't have the you energy know? to make this video, but, um, you know, for um, I feel bad for the people that was affected by this coronavirus, you mm -hmm. know. God bless them. Yeah, God, God bless them. them, you know, and prayers out to your families and everything like that, to the ones who was infected by this whole virus and everything. And um, it's just, let's just keep doing our part, you know, keep, yeah. keeping safe, you know, keeping our kids safe. Shit, in my mind, our... corona's not going to go nowhere. It's yeah. going to be here for a long time. Right. You this know, is, that's this is probably going to be our new future right here, you know, how we're going to operate in the future. You know, we have to be a little bit more careful on our comings and goings and stuff like that. But um, but you want to keep at least six feet of distance. That's right. Right now, we we not really doing we're, that right we're now. We're breaking the code. <laughs> we're breaking the code. But like like we mentioned earlier, we you right. know we're we're good. You know, we're we're not feeling any signs of being sick or anything like that. So, you know. All right. Well, I guess that's about Ooh. it. We wanted to show y'all about our little uh, hot spot over here, Shipley's Donuts. Right. We'll share it with y'all. You know, hopefully that if y'all ever come through Texas, y'all stop off and get y'all some donuts, and some kolaches. Most definitely. Yeah. But we'll we'll holler back at y'all. Y'all please remember to subscribe, subscribe, like, like. You know, share the videos. Um, we'd really appreciate that. So, until next time. Peace.